Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a festival makeup tutorial and it is fest festival season. So usually I don't make these types of tutorials because I'm not really into this type of stuff. But I figured it would be something to try and help you guys get inspiration if you are going to a festival this year. Music festivals are supposed to be really fun. Uh, I honestly don't think I'd, I might go to one later on in life, but I don't know about right now. And great, my battery's going to die. That's great. And I only have one for this new camera. So, yeah. I'm just going to get started with the eyes because this is going to be a very, like, sparkly, bright tutorial. So, I am going to be using a lot of bright colors. And it's going to be kind of like a sunset theme. So, it's going to be, like, purple and blues and oranges and pinks and all kinds of colors. So, I actually have it all written down. And, um, so I will be using the BH Cosmetics palettes, and this is the Galaxy Chick one with the 18 colors in it. And the other one I'll be using is the Aurora Lights palette, which has a lot of bright neon colors. I kind of wish I would have charged my battery today. So if it dies, I'm going to have to pick this up later, but that's okay. So we're going to get started. So I already primed my eyelids and I used the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Uh, everyone uses this. So, yeah. Okay, so I have it all written down in front of me what I did because I did practice doing this yesterday. So the reason why I'm starting with the eyes is because I don't want fallout to get into my foundation. So what I did first was I took the Aurora Lights palette. Aurora, I don't know how to say that. But, and I took the color fluorescent, and I just went in my crease right here, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So I just took a small crease brush, if I can find the one I used yesterday. Just took this little brush right here. And I took fluorescent, which is a very bright pink. And I just went in the crease and I will zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so hopefully that's good enough. And if you guys see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. So I'm just going to take this and put it in the bottom crease very lightly. Just like this. Just to make sure that I'm not getting it on the lid. You don't want to get it on the lid. You want to get it like in the middle of your crease exactly. This brush actually isn't a good brush to use. So I'm probably just going to go in with this one. And I'm just going to brush this very gently in the middle of my crease. All over the inner crease. And then I will show you what we're going to be putting on top of that. So that's what that looks like so far. Like I said, these are very bright colors, and that's what I want it to be. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. Just very, you know, light. And I'm actually using a light hand for this. This just goes to show you how bright these colors actually are. And I'm going to go in with a regular brush and I'm just going to blend this out to make it look not so harsh. Like a harsh line because you're going to be blending colors in with this. Well, actually only one more color on the top of this. So the other color you're going to be blending on the top is, hold on a sec, is Venus. And that's in the Galaxy Cheek palette. And that's an orange which is right here. So this orangey shade is going on top. So I'm going to take the same brush I just used and clean it off. And you're just going to go right above that and kind of just mix them together to kind of give it that sunset look. Uh, you know how when the sky is at like night in the summertime, it's kind of like an orangey, pinkish blue, like orangey pink. It can be like literally anything, but that's kind of what I'm going for right now. So 
sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself when really I'm not. So if I ever get like really quiet, that's why. Okay, this brush is a little... See, I was talking to myself right there. Literally, I'm supposed to be talking to the camera, not myself. And then I'm just blending this all together. If you need more of the other pink, you can just add more. And I feel like I kind of, never mind. Yeah, I feel like I need a little bit more pink because that kind of overpowered it. And these shadows are, uh, these palettes are relatively affordable. So you don't have to worry about the price. But you can use any palette you want. You don't have to copy the same exact thing I do. Um, so, yeah. So that's what the, the crease and the whole top looks like as of right now. I'm going to take another brush and I'm just going to blend this all together. Now all the together at the top. Because the last thing you want is to look like two different lines. So that's what they look like blended together. It comes out very nicely in the end, I promise. So that's kind of like what I wanted for the top. Okay, now, so in the inner corner of my lid right here, I'm going to go in with Electrica from the Galaxy Chic palette, and that is a very, very light blue, so I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to be just putting that like in the inner corner of my lid. Okay, where's my, okay. You can um, wet the brush if you want. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. Actually, I might, we'll see. Cause wetting the brush makes the color more um, intense. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go wet this, so I'll be right back. I can't pause this, so I'm literally just gonna run right over there for a second. I'll be right back. I just grabbed another setting spray so I could spray my brush. I'm just gonna go in with this color. Just like that. Okay, now that it's gonna be more. Yeah, see, that's kind of like what I was looking for. Wanted this to be like really, really vibrant. So that's what it's gonna look like on the inner corner. I'm gonna do the same thing for this eye right here. This is such a beautiful, beautiful blue. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's super, super pretty. So that's what it looks like on the inner corner for right now. That's what I want. The next color is going to be... So in the middle of my eye, eyelid, which is right here, I'm going to be putting... I use Saturn, so so I use Saturn in the middle of my eyelid, which is this reddish orangey pink. No, it's a reddish orange, but it just has a little bit of red infused, and that is from the Galaxy Cheek palette, and I only put that on the um, center. So again, I'm going to wet my brush. just to make the colors so the center would be like right here and it's okay to go over the shadows a little but not completely and it's okay to blend it in with the crease a little but not completely so I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side as well And this is more of a subtle color because it's not, I kind of just wanted it to be like that for the middle. Because we are going to be putting glitter over this, so I didn't want it to be too crazy. Now on the outer of my um, lid, 
I'm going to be using Cosmic, which is in this palette as well. This is a very light purple, which is right here. And I will be going in without it being wet because I don't think I need it to be. So I'm just going to be going on the outer corner, just like this. So as you can see, it's kind of like a little rainbow on my eye. These are like festival colors in my opinion. You can actually blend them all together, but I kind of just want this to look a certain way. I mean, and then at the end, if you want, you can just take, like, each of the colors that I used and kind of just blend it along the crease over here. Kind of like in the crease right here. That way it kind of gives a kind of, um... It makes it look all normal, if that makes sense. Kind of gives it a better, cool effect. So, as you can see, this is almost done. So, here's the completed um, eyeshadow part. So, as you can see, there's a couple different colors in there, and it looks really, really nice, in my opinion. I am going to add a little bit more of that Saturn color to my... Uh, middle of my eye because I feel like the other colors are overpowering it. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my brow bone color. And this is just going to be a very um, highlighted shade. And I'm using the Makeup Geek Shimmer shade. That's literally what it's called. Um, and I just want to have my brow bone highlighted a little. Just like that. And you can put jewels on your face with this. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to be going in with some really bright blue mascara. And some black um, dramatic lashes. Well, they're the Demi Wispies. But they're still dramatic in my opinion. So that's what I have so far. I think this is pretty. It reminds me of the California sunset a little bit. But I'm going to be putting glitter over this. So the palettes are done. And I will have all the steps linked in the description box below. So you guys, if you guys can't like keep up with the video, you guys will have the directions in the, com the comments. Yeah, okay. Not the comments, the description box. So now I'm going to be taking this NYX Roll-On Shimmer Eye um, Glitter in the color Light Blue. And I'm going to be putting that on a wet brush so i'm actually gonna just take this little brush right here and i'm gonna wet this and i'm gonna get a little bit of the glitter and just pat that over the blue which is right um right here if it wants to cooperate very gently just pat it over that to give it even more um of an effect. As you can see that just made it much more blue and that's kind of what I was going for. So I'm actually just going to put this on the back of my hand and just like scrape it up. It's so much easier. I'm just going to pack it on there just like that. As you can see, it's not going to give a really deep, deep sparkle. It's just going to intensify the blue. So that is that. Um, and now for the middle, I'm going to be using the Stila Glitter Glow Highlighter. This is highlighter, but you can use it anywhere on the body. This is in the color Painted Lady, and I'm just going to be putting this right over that middle shade. Just to make this glittery. Just packing it right over the middle shade. And just like that. And the same on the other side. And the next color I'm going to be using for the pink is the color Queen and the Stila highlighter again. 
this is these are just glitters I'm putting over it to make it more dramatic I kind of wish I had a different sparkly purple glitter to put over this but I don't at the moment so that's what it even looks better with the glitters over it if you look closely that's what the lids look like um, I'm getting this blue glitter all over the place there okay so now that the eye that the whole eyelid part is done I'm gonna go in the inner corner now okay so let me just see where I left off here <clears throat> I'm trying to see where I... I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I left off. So I have this all like written down the steps that I did because I couldn't remember. Okay, so along my lash line, I went in with the Galaxy Chick palette, I believe, and I went in with the color, okay, that's not even on here, so that's the other palette. So I used the color Polar from the Aurora Lights palette, this deep blue, along my lash line. So I'm probably going to have the brush wet for that so it's more deep, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So you're just going to bring this along your lash line very uh, lightly. Um, let me see. So I, f I don't want you guys to not be able to see what I'm doing. And you're just going to drag it very gently. Okay, I need this up close. Definitely think it will work out better if the brush is wet. And then, you're just, like I said, you're just going to drag it. Okay, that worked much better. I want to make sure not to get this in your eye. Wow, it's actually clumping off on me. Okay, I don't like that brush for that. Let's try a different one. Let's try this little guy right here. This little tiny detailing brush. I think that will look much better. Probably will. Yep, that was, that was a much better. I do not like putting things close to my eyes like this. But that's what you're going to want to do. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, this doesn't help that the shadow is just clumping up on me. Oh my lord. Okay, this is actually pissing me off now. It keeps clumping up. Stupid, stupid eyeshadow. Maybe because it's so glittery. Okay, well, let me try again. If you just have to pull on it, that's fine. Pull on your eye, but I don't recommend doing that. Because it's not good, so... Okay, so this is what it looks like on the lash line. Honestly, this is actually aggravating me because it's getting in my eye and it hurts. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I think I took the little... I will take... Okay, ah, Getting eyeshadow everywhere. Okay, so now what I'm going to do 
And I'm going to take the Too Faced um, Rainbow Strobe Highlighter. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm actually going to use a... What do I want to use for that? I think I'm going to use a very small... I thought I had smaller. Oh, I do right here. I'm going to take a very small little brush and just put like each of these colors mixed together in my eye area. Tap it off and I'm just going to put it right here and drag it down. Just like that. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. But I thought it was. Okay, yes, that actually looks good. But I think I'm going to add a little bit more of a brighter color over that. Just because I don't think it's strong enough. So I'm probably going to go in with that blue I put on my lash line and mix it in with ombre, which is a sparkly white. And go right in there and just pop it right on there. Kind of just like that. Okay, so now that the bottom is done, so I really like this so far. I think it's really pretty. Now what I'm going to do, just to get this out of the way, is just get any glitter I have on my face off. Because we're almost done with the eyes. Almost. Okay, so that is the fresh eye look. For the eyeshadow now i'm gonna go in with some blue mascara on top and bottom now i found these at a five pack at five below for like five dollars so that's really not bad and look how blue that is but it's really hard to get on your lashes because it's not like a normal you know i'll show you i probably should curl my lashes before i do this oh well <coughs> putting on false lashes anyway this is just an extra thing like, as you can see, I feel like you guys can't even see this. But it's so hard for me because I'm not used to this camera. Okay, so what I found helpful with this is just taking, like, a little, a little, like, disposable eyeshadow brush. If I can get it out of the package. Taking it like this. Kind of, like, on the brush like this. And then just like painting it over your lashes so it becomes really vibrant. Because you really want this to show. But it's going to be hard to show because this, like I said, not used to working with stuff like this. Okay, so now you can actually kind of see it. I will say that this stuff is very uh, heavy on the eyes. So keep that in mind. Yeah, this shows up much better when you have, when you just like go paint it on. And you're just going to want to put this on the bottom lashes as well. You are going to be putting over, okay, my battery's literally about to die, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I had to switch out cameras. I had to go use my other one because my other battery died in my other one. So now I'm back. And I just finished the other eye with the mascara. I'll zoom you in. You can see. So if you can see, um, the that's the blue mascara. And again, like I said, it's just Style Essentials Magic Lash Blue Mascara. I don't know if this has a, it doesn't have a name. It's just really, really like a baby blue. So that's that. Now the few last things I'll be doing for the eyes, I'll be adding a matte black um, liner to the waterline. You don't have to do this, but I am because I feel like it would make the blue pop more. Okay. 
this one actually stinks. Okay, that's as much as I'm gonna get on that, so. So that's the liner. And now I'm going to take the Ardell Demi Wispies and I'm going to apply these on my lashes. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna do these off camera because they can be a little tricky sometimes. So I just finished my eyes and bad news is the lashes did not want to stick with the really, so this mascara is really goopy. Um, it's probably not the best to be using on an everyday basis. Uh, obviously you wouldn't use this every day, but the lashes didn't want to work out. So I just left them how they are with the blue mascara and that's just going to have to be the final look of the eyes. So now I'm going to move on to foundation and highlighter and the rest of my face. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to prime my face, obviously, actually, yes, I'm going to prime my face with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Just drop the cap, why don't you? So this is just a clear primer, and I'm just going to be putting this all over like my nose area and my face, just to hide any of the pores and any of that stuff we don't want to see. And I'm going to be putting a little clip in my hair just to get that out of the way. So, yeah. And I already did my brows, I forgot to mention. I just used the e.l.f. brow pencil and I just very lightly um, aligned them. Like, filled them in. So now that I have the pores all filled in with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, I'm going to go in with a little bit of redness correcting uh, primer. And you don't have to do this unless you have redness on your skin. Uh, I don't I don't recommend this for everybody unless you have redness. This kind of conceals it. A little bit. I'm just doing a half-assed job with it. But then you can use the Reveal Algenis Concentrating Color Drops, which I'm going to use right now. And these just kind of cancel out any uneven skin tone. Uh, keep in mind these are expensive. I just put it anywhere I think I need it. And it's like an apricot, apricot color. And you just blend it in with your skin. And it, it tends to hide out any of the unevenness. In your skin. And that's usually what I do. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation and the foundation that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Paris Dream Match Super Bundable Makeup in the color C1. So I'm a really light shade in this. This is one of my favorite foundations. And I'm just going to be pouring a little bit onto the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to start dabbing this all over my face. This is a really light foundation for, because kind of like what I wanted. I don't want to look crazy with a really dark base or a really dark foundation. Always blend the foundation up to your hairline and down over near your ear area, down your neck. So like I said, this is a really light natural shade. I didn't want my skin to be super dark. You could bronze if you want. I might, I might not. I don't think I'm going to. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer underneath my eyes a little bit. This is the Revlon Youth Fix Concealer. And I'm just going to conceal my under eye, my bags area. I'm just going to be careful not to touch any of the eyeshadow. 
If you do, it's okay. You can fix it. Now that's what it looks like so far. Why did the, my eyes just get really blurry? Unless that was my camera. I don't know if it's blurry. I don't think it is, but it might be. Okay, so now what? I'm going to go get my blush because I forgot to go get the one I want to use. I'll be right back. Okay, and I just did this off camera, but I did just go in with some bronzer. You can't really tell, but if you look closely, you can probably see where you can see it. I went in with the City Color Sun Bronzer and the color Sunrise. This is one of my favorites. I don't think they make this anymore, but I'll try and link something similar. Uh, it's just really natural bronzer. I kind of want to just bronze up the sides of my face. And the blush I'll be using is the Pixie by Petra Rose Gold Duo Blush. So this is a highlighter and a blush. When you mix these together, you get a really pretty blush color, something natural. Just because the highlighter itself is going to be really um, uh, crazy. The rainbow one, that's the one I'm going to be using. I just kind of just blush it all over up my cheekbones. Just really natural because I didn't want it to be really crazy. Because the eyes are crazy. So, yeah, that's enough for the blush. Now I'm going to go in with the highlighter. And this is the Too Faced Rainbow Strobe Highlighter I mentioned in a, the other part of my video. I'm just going to be taking this little highlight brush right here. I'm just going to be taking this along like my cheeks right here. Actually, I'm not going to use that because I don't like the way that that's coming out. So I'll take this setting brush and I'll use this instead. But I really want people to be able to see this. You want people to be able to see the, the highlight because this would make it more nice it's a rainbow so you can see the rainbow on your face you can put it on your nose down the center of your nose all over if you wanted to you could put this all over your face i mean i don't recommend doing that because you want it to be where you need it but think about it if you're going to a festival you want the light to catch the pretty rainbow effect on your cheeks, which mine is definitely catching that. This is a crazy look. I absolutely love this. Okay, so now last but not least is the lips and the setting spray after. So I have a couple of different lip options. The first one I have is the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers uh, and Acid Fairy. This is a really pretty sparkly pink. Now with this you can wear it alone or you can wear it over a lipstick. I'm going to put it on alone to show you what it would do so it would just really make your lips really glittery and I need my um, my makeup remover to get this off after so I'll just do this first so I have a couple different ones so I have a really bright pink and I have a purple lipstick and then I have a um, NYX like lipstick right here so those are the colors that I have so Four different lip options. So the first one is going to be the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers Lip Gloss. And this is just a really pretty lip topper. If you wear it alone, this is what it will look like. Wow, I was already zoomed in a lot. Um, so if you just wanted a little bit of sparkle on the lips and you didn't want it too dramatic down here, you could use this. So now I'm going to go get something to remove this so I can put the other ones on. So I will be right back. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to be using is the CoverGirl Star Wars in the color there is no color on this so this is just the purple star wars covergirl lipstick probably can't find this anywhere anymore but you can always use something similar i 
and this matches the the shadow I used on the outer corner please excuse the dry lips so as you can see this color matches the outer corner that's why I picked this and I thought it would look really good and it does so that's the purple lipstick you just go grab my um, little makeup eraser and just take this off so I can show you the other ones so there's one more lipstick and this is the NYX Narcissist Lip Smacking Fun Colors and this is a more of a subtle like shimmery pink. It's a sheer pink lipstick. And this kind of just goes with the, the look overall. And if you wanted to, to make this a little bit more dramatic, like I said, you could put this over it, which I think would look pretty. You just put a little like this. And then you just mix it all around. See? And then you have a really sparkly lipstick. And that is the one of them. And then there's one more. Oh, I hate this dry lips. I really should have used a lip scrub before I did this, but nope, I didn't. So the next one is really bright. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. And this is in the color Fuchsia Amnesia 512. Uh, this is really bright. So here is the bright one. To be honest with you, this is my least favorite. But for all you people that just want to be super bold and go for it, this would be for you. But the other colors I picked are more like natural. So I feel like this one kind of like clashes with this. So if you want to use this, you can, but would I recommend using something this bright with this eyeshadow? Probably not. I would stick with the colors that I just showed. These and this pretty sparkly lip gloss would be great. Uh, this on the other hand, I don't really know. It is beautiful. This color is beautiful. I love it but it isn't something that I totally recommend. So yeah, last thing now is I'm going to use the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. The reason why I'm using this is because this actually has um, sparkles in it. I just gotta shake it first and then you spray it like this on your face. And this actually smells like watermelon. If you look closely, it leaves like glitter on your face. So it's perfect for festival season. Um, then you smell like candy the whole night. So it literally smells like watermelon candy. Okay, guys. So that is the finished look. I will link everything in the description box below. Everything I used. If you guys have any questions and the directions on how to lay the eyeshadow. If you guys couldn't keep up with me. I'm sorry that this video is so long, but I absolutely love the look I came up with. If you guys loved it too, please give this video a thumbs up and please leave any comments in the in the comment section. If you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.